ever end up in a retirement home, like a Shady Acres, like assisted living, like where my, my father-in-law lives, they play like old music from the 40s and 50s on like the, the <laughs> on the group radio. Uh-huh. What would they be playing? Like, the, right. Scott's like in the like, common area. You put me in a home that plays Metallica. <laughs> well, the best part about this kind of thought exercise is the idea that not only are you listening to Metallica in the old folks' home, but that all the kids visiting you are uh-huh. like, oh, they're playing this like timid old music. <laughs> Oh, look, it's all of Grandpa's corny yeah. old oh, music. Isn't that, co- isn't that cute? Yeah. I kind of like this retro oh, sound. It's right. quaint. I want to open the uh, uh, curtain here a little bit just to let you see backstage. During our pre-show meeting, uh, a very wise Roger Chang said, hey, that first story, you, you think it's four. It's going to be five. It's going to be five. You always think it's going to be four. It's definitely going to be five. And everybody poo-pooed him and said, Roger, please. We're professionals. We can we- stay on time. <laughs> and we know that we ran over it. All Roger, right. you get the you get, you get get the win on that one. Circle gets the square. Yeah, right. Part of it is I don't like stories with pre predest- like you're destined to be something. You don't like the chosen one, genre. Yeah, I, Whoa, some about That's a lot of stuff you don't like. Really oh, like you're it. chosen. Let me just, you know, suddenly you're all special. It's like, no. <laughs> you get special You're not just special. Because. You're not special at all, you. King like Arthur, who made you, you know, king? You, you, you're special because you do certain things. You overcome things. You're a works, not a faith man. Yeah, Luke Skywalker. You're not chosen. Get it. You can't just waltz in here because your dad's Anakin Skywalker and claim yeah, to be. Who do you think he's, just because he's the middle manager of this place. <laughs> you don't like nep- the nepotistic nature of the Chosen One story. Justin was worried if he put on a tracksuit, he'd look like Christopher Moltisanti from the uh, Sopranos. That's <laughs> true. Okay. Men, men of my skin shade that has a little <laughs> bit of a paunch and is wearing a tracksuit. That's I mean, just throw a like, gold chain on, and you're you're there. If it, I mean, if I if if oh, that yeah. were all true, and I saw you, I'd be like, love the tracksuit. I I I, yeah. I, th- I don't think you should shy away. And then I and then in response, I'd go, hey, oh, I'm walking. <laughs> we got promised a movie on the last day of school in elementary school, but they wouldn't tell us what it was. And one year it was The Rescuers, and the next year it was Fox and the Hound. That's on the last day of school. Yeah, like, it's like such a downer. Bye, have a nice summer. Mm, yeah, kids well, are crying. Our teacher showed us Beverly Hills Cop in junior, like sixth grade. Really? That's oh yeah, like that's just irresponsible. Like it was just literally the teacher said, like, there's gonna be a lot of swearing. Don't take it home with. We never got played movies in class that weren't related to schoolwork. Like, oh no, we I totally yeah. got that in first grade. That was the first quote unquote movie I saw. First grade. I or never no, saw grade. a movie in a classroom until I was in high school, I don't think. It was we actually got to see Tron and I don't understand how they did it or what the what the thing was because at the time Tron? it was Tron. Yes. Why? It was, it was, why? I don't know. Oh, I can't believe this high quality uh, Bond County Community Unit Number Two High School. We didn't, you know, we we had the higher standards than that, I guess. Mm-hmm.